Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I was thinking about starting a series of videos featuring videos from YouTube or other sources where you have uh, Western media interviewers being rude and asking not pushy questions, but rude questions, interrupting world leaders that they don't like and how they get smacked by these world leaders, the bad dudes, like Ahmadinejad of Iran, like Putin, like Lavrov, and many others, like Giardo, you know, foreign minister of Hungary, and many others. And you want to see how these interviewers from BBC in this case, which I think is from a hard talk or something, hard ball or something, a guy that was very, very obnoxious with other guys. I watched this guy all the time being smacked by certain of my friends, which is one of them is Glenn uh, Greenwald. Not my friend, but I like him a lot. And not only. So, uh, and uh, Peter Giardo, I think, smacks him. So here we have um, an interview that this weasel from BBC tries to um, destroy the secretary of African National Congress. And his name is... Uh, Tikile Mbalula. And uh, this secretary, uh, secretary general, is not going to let himself uh, uh, rolled over by this weasel. It's fantastic. So let me go to the movie. It's a, a movie video. It's about one minute long. And uh, I have it ready right here. All right, let's make uh, the arrangements. So we're sure that we got everything done. So this is uh, Mr. Mbalula. Okay, here you have. And he's asked by this weasel the way he asks questions. Right. If Vladimir it was Putin. according to the ANC, we will want President Putin to be here even tomorrow. You to would come to come to come to our country. His weasel. But you uh, would welcome Vladimir Putin here, of right? Of course, now, we will welcome a man who is being investigated for war crimes by the international We will welcome him to come here as part and parcel. He's being investigated. It doesn't mean he is, uh, you know, convicted weasel. You would. Yeah. Are you sure? You, is that what I'm hearing? Basically, that's what the weasel asks. But this guy has balls. He's going to smack him. You'll see. Bricks, but we know that we are constrained by the ICC in terms of uh, doing that. Putin is a head of state. Do you think that uh, a head of state can just be arrested anywhere? How many crimes have your country committed wow. in Iraq? How many crimes... Have everyone else who saw Pokal today committed in Iraq and Afghanistan? Have you arrested them? You, you, know, you know the impact. That You're this making fan of a yours. lot of noise about Putin. Did you hear? Do you know the impact of the. And this guy says, What are you talking about? Was anybody arrested? And I can use also Yugoslavia, 1999. Was anybody arrested for that? State of working for peace between Ukraine and Russia, and you failed to resolve the war. Where are the weapons of mass destruction? Tony Blair went to Iraq and claimed that there were weapons of mass destruction. Do you see anybody standing against that in the United Kingdom and Britain? More than uh, millions of people have died in Iraq and yeah. Afghanistan and there are no weapons of mass destruction. We know what the war is Look about the Secretary General. between Russia we and don't Ukraine. Have time. We want peace. That's what is important. So that the world can thrive and organs and institutions of the world that institute world peace must not be conspicuous by their silence in deciding Sorry. decisively. We, we, we don't. Uh, he said here uh, later, no, he eh? said, uh, we don't have time. This video, I watched another video uh, longer a little bit. He said uh, that weasel, the, uh, the BBC Jesus Christ from Hardball or something, or Hard Talk, he is such a... Uh, but he, uh, he said, we don't have, uh, sec Mr. Secretary, we don't have time for this. Uh, the guy, the, how should I put it? Uh, I don't know his name. The BBC weasel. He has to be very careful because this guy is a black. He cannot accuse him of anything uh, or has to use certain kind of gloves. And he uses. Uh, why? Because he can be uh, accused of something else in the society that he comes from. So he's very careful not to talk to the Mr. M what's his name? Uh, where is he? With uh, Secretary General ba Balula, he is very careful not to say something that is really, you know, like too attacking, too obvious. 
because they were going to have the people that they fed. They fed so much to see this kind of thing. Say, hey, wait a minute, you're a rrr. So he is backing off. We don't have time. He doesn't say anything about what are you talking about. He could have pushed Mbalula really hard, but he didn't. But the courage of telling the truth, telling the truth. Mbalula did not say anything, but hey, the emperor has no clothes. You're talking about it? Start pretending. So he said, this is a head of state. Was any, any other head of state was arrested? Are you crazy? Yeah, but uh, Mbalula knows that in, in the West, this kind of behavior, they, it's, a, it's a high a hype. Well, it's going to get arrested. It's going arrest, to get arrested. How many people you maybe heard in the news, maybe you met, saying, oh, he's going to get arrested. It's so impossible. But these guys really believe it. Like, oh, Trump is going to get out of the White House in handcuffs. Why? Because these people do not know shit. They haven't even been around the block a few times, or at least one time, and they are scared the cats. They don't know life. They don't, I'm not saying, oh, I know it, but I definitely know certain possibilities, and they don't. Trump is going to be arrested. Oh, my God. They're all jerking off uh, at the office and, and other places. Oh, my God. He's going to get, what are you talking about, guys? You're so dumb. You don't know that's impossible. It's not going to happen. It didn't happen. They tried all the way, right, right now. We're going to arrest Putin. Who's going to arrest Putin? Moldova? Yeah, yeah, Moldova. He's got a, a, a warrant issued against, against uh, Putin by ICC, International Criminal Court. It's an organization. It's like, I don't know, as I explained, Kyokushin Karate has about 50 branches. They're all international. They're all organizations. None of them recognize the other one. So if I'm a world champion in this branch, I'm not world champion on this one. They don't recognize one another. The same here. It's an ICC. It's not United Nations. Certain countries were signatories. Other countries are not. You have no jurisdiction. What are you talking about? Oh, oh, oh. But you see, people don't know shit. Because they watch uh, The View. They uh, watch the games, drink their beer, consume on Amazon, stay home with their whatever they uh, stay home. And that's it. And they want everybody else to do the same thing. Because it's too, too, too dangerous outside. So let's talk about this guy. This guy has the courage to tell the guy the truth. Has the, the boss. And I have to make this video as, oh my God, what Mambalula did. To the weasel. This should not be like this. It should not be. That guy should not have asked that question because he knew the answer. This guy's gonna, I mean, you, you have behind you a mountain of crimes and you come and tell this guy, hey, wait, 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 are you going, uh, be careful, are you going to uh, uh, get, uh, accept Putin coming and visit the BRICS in South Africa? Uh, be careful what you're saying right here because what? What are you gonna do about it? You in, uh, but that's the way they try to intimidate us because they think that we will not tell the truth and most of us don't why because there are repercussions and the repercussions or consequences are negative not that they will counter with intelligence and evidence and facts no they will hurt you economically which is you're going to get fired you're not going to find another job how are you going to get your little uh, references from your previous job if you get fired so that means you're not going to work in that uh, uh, level, you're going to go down somewhere, I don't know, somewhere where they don't read, need three references from your previous job, right? And you can't explain this to these guys, wait a minute, but those guys fired me because I said, said oh, what did you say? Oh, did you say that? Oh my God. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, never see you again. Bye-bye. Oh my God. This got leprosy right here. All right. So this guy, and I saw, I'm going to make videos on this guy because I, I know he got many times uh, but the attitude did you see the arrogance the arrogance from the bbc guy uh, yeah uh, i think i congratulate uh, the other guy for doing what he did and he didn't do anything extraordinary that had courage that's all but I, it didn't seem to me that he was like oh my god now i'm gonna say it i'm gonna spill the beams no it was that this guy pushed it and moralized him and this guy is saying, you moralize me? What the hell are you talking about? And there are many things here the same way. Well, you're doing this, you're doing this. What? You? You didn't clean after Iraq. You didn't clean up after Yugoslavia. As I said many times, where is Clinton? Where is, uh, what is his name, the Prime Minister of uh, 
Great Britain and other 10 countries of NATO defensive alliance who illegally bombarded Yugoslavia in 1999. It was not uh, anything uh, uh, you know, voted and agreed by the United Nations, which makes that a uni unilateral war against... Uh, uh, there was an invasion. There was an... Uh, uh, how do you call it? A, uh, an aggression. And any, anybody who died over there could be considered a, you know, a war crime. No, no, no. So that's exactly what this guy says. What are you talking about? Things are more complicated. But anyway, I applaud that guy. Thank you very much for... What's his name again? Mbalula. Fikile Mbalula, Secretary General of African National Congress. Well, thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.